So I just did my um, my psych visit. It really was short. It was less than a half hour. Um, I, I I'm not really sure what was accomplished so much. Um, I think I think it was just evaluating whether or not I was mentally competent to get a transplant. Um, which I have to be honest, I'm pretty sure I am. I mean. I'm not mentally incompetent for anything, so thankfully there were no drugs um, dispensed, although he did mention that I might have to go back on an antidepressant at some point, um, you know, and he did say, you know, just there's a lot of people that do get the evaluation that don't need transplant, and it, I may not have to get it, but one of the tools that he actually gave me, which I'm going to use because I do get a lot of anxiety, especially at night, especially when I'm alone, is, um, okay, give me the date. What, are, what That thing that you're anxious about, give me the date that it's going to happen. Well, is it happening tomorrow? No, it's not happening tomorrow. Is it happening this time next week? Probably not. So, you know, that's, uh, that's, 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 a, that's a tool that I will definitely, definitely use when it comes time to, um, to deal with uh, the anxiety along with this whole transplant situation. Also, our heater doesn't work, our kitchen sink is stopped up, but it's stopped up because next door is stopped up, and there was a bunch of food in the sink after, right after my psych evaluation went to the kitchen. I saw that there was a bunch of rice. That we don't send food down the garbage disposal, not like that, not like a whole freaking plate of food. Um, so I was cleaning and I sent that all back down, my garbage disposal. And then my next door neighbor knocks on the door and he's like, hey, so we've got a stoppage and all this stuff that you're sending down is going right into the plumber's face. I'm like, oh, I had no idea. Nobody had said anything to me. So I stopped. But I did clean out all that, all that rice. I don't know why there was so much rice. And it was in the side of the sink with the, not with the garbage disposal, the other side. Um, it has a smaller drain because of, it just, it's just, I don't understand where it all came from. Um. Thankfully, I didn't know that during the psych eval because that's all I would have been thinking about. But because our sinks are clearly on the same line, they're like right back to back in, in, in the kitchen. Hopefully, uh, the plumber clearing it out from them will clear it out for us. And I have to go do a maintenance request for the heater because, you know, I'm an old lady now and I get cold. I never used to. I could I could go out in shorts and a t-shirt in, you know, well, well, it's cold for us, like 50 degree weather. That's cold for Ca Southern California um, and be fine and not feel at all. But, you know, now that I'm old and I've lost a bunch of weight, I get cold easy. You know, it's estrogen is, uh, regulates our temperature, at least in part. And when estrogen falls more than normal because you're going through perimenopause, you tend to get a little colder. So there is a physiological reason why this happens. It's not just women are trying to be, you know, to overheat men. It's because our bodies don't have the same temperature regulation. And since men don't go through anything like perimenopause, they don't have any sympathy for it. And I'm sure like me losing a lot of weight also, you know, I've, I've gone through my life being fairly big and having all that extra padding. And now I don't. So I'm going to feel a little bit more chilly on a, on a time when we're going through rainstorms here. Although it appears that the rain is over for now. Um, this, this big storm. I love the rain. I didn't even mind going out in the rain yesterday, although I wasn't driving. If I were driving, I'm sure I would have minded quite a bit. <sighs> anyway, I'm talking about stuff that doesn't have anything to do with the liver. Um, so the guy was nice. I liked him a lot. Like... I could see myself hanging out with this guy. He was funny. He was, was kind of doofy. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I appreciate. I mean, I liked all the doctors that I saw. Um, I liked I liked the hepatologist a lot. Uh, um, I I don't think I've ever met a doctor I just don't like. Like, why would you get into to medicine if you had a bad personality? Really, I mean. Dr. House is fiction. You know, I'm sure there are houses out there or similar, not, you know, the crazy weird genius. That's, that's, that seems more fictional. Um, the hospitals don't do that. 
you know, they don't let somebody have a, all that time for, yeah, they don't. As far as I know, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but it just seems very unlikely that someone would be on staff just for diagnosing, like, everything in the world. Um, and also to be so dependent on Vicodin. Anyway, I like, I like medical shows. Some people like lawyer shows, some people like cop shows. I like medical shows. So, of course, I'm in the middle of a medical emergency. Well, a medical crisis, kind of. Although I think that we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel for this one. Do I think that, like, in five years it could recur and I could have azotees and all the other things? Sure. But my diet's not going to change. I'm not going to start gaining a bunch of weight if I can help it. Um, you know, I'm going to still do things like drink the coffee and eat the food that's good for me, like fish. So as far as that can help or, or keep me from getting worse, you know, I intend to keep up with it, even when I'm not in the middle of a liver transplant evaluation. And the psych doctor did say, you know, I, 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 I may not need it anytime soon, and there's nothing you can do about anxiety, but he did say that it, because what I do with anxiety is I do a few things. My friend Helen gave me a tool a long time ago. Um, things I can touch, things I can hear, things I can see, things I can taste. You know, you do those things to sort of um, get your mind onto something else. But also, like, I let myself feel it. I let it happen. And I'll cry and I'll... I'll um, because for me, what helps me um, be able to acknowledge, understand, and get past things is to put words to it. Um, I'm very, I, I have a monologue in my head. I don't see pictures. I think in words. It's like my voice in my head. That's why it's so easy for me to talk because I'm just, it's the same thing. Um, so I have to, uh, let myself feel it and examine it and understand it and put words to it. Why am I anxious? What is making me anxious in this moment right now? Because usually it happens when I'm alone at night. That's when it's the worst, you know. Uh, and so usually it's like, well, I'm worried about having a liver transplant. And the tool that the psych doctor gave me is, well, are you going to have that operation tomorrow? No, I'm not going to have that operation tomorrow. You know, that kind of thing. And that's actually going to be really helpful for me in the future. And I intend to integrate that. Um, he, I forget what he called it, cognitive something. That's the style of whatever it is that I'm doing. So it's, so, um, and then I asked him, like, is it possible that anxiety can activate depression? And I asked that because Zoloft is for anxiety and depression. I was on Zoloft for a long time. I'm not anymore. I have in my medical records that I had major depressive disorder in complete remission. I haven't been on Zoloft since the pandemic, at least. So like 2020. Um, and I'd really like to not, um, but he's like, no, it, th there's overlap in the brain where those two things come from. And people who have depression often have anxiety, but just being anxious isn't going to reactivate my depression, which it seems like a dumb question, but you never freaking know. I just wanted to make sure, like, if I have to take an antidepressant in the future, which, I mean, if I have to, I have to. I just want to make sure that I'm not making it happen by, like, not stopping the anxiety, although it'd be worse to suppress it, I suppose. And I am stopping it in, in my way. I'm not having freakouts. I'm not sitting in the fetal position. I'm just... I'm so tired. I had a rough night. I... I need to... I need to rest now. So... I'm gonna do that for the rest of the day. I, got, I gotta go back to work tomorrow. I can't... I can't take any more time off. I'm, I, sh I, sh I, I just, I was so tired because I didn't even go to sleep until like four o'clock in the morning and I get up at 5.30. So, and I, and I've had stomach issues. Anxiety really works on my stomach. So, so I'm going to rest for the rest of the day. I'll probably read a lot, watch some TikTok. Anyway, that's my time. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.